what looks easy peasy lemon squeezy, but is actually difficult difficult lemon difficult. Work. I'm a lawyer, and had a client call saying she needs a help with a merger, but don't worry, it's super easy peasy lemon squeezy. That project took 6 months and I almost had a breakdown. She didn't understand why the bill was so high, since it was so easy. Playing the triangle. A lot of my non-musician friends joke about how easy it is to play it. Then they actually hold the damn thing and look stupid. Whistling with your fingers. Dancing. I wouldn't say it looks easy, but when I see people do it, they are so good at it and it flows so well it looks easy. But damn, I just cannot get my body to do anything more than a bop and maybe some stupid arm moves. I'm 25 and dance like a 50 year old at a reunion. Dancers are so delicate and make it look so easy, it's honestly amazing. It's just hilarious when I try to do literally anything and fail horribly. Drawing something from memory, like a bird or something. In mind, yep that's a bird. On paper, that's a bird. Digging. Anytime it's shown in movies or TV it looks easier, but the second you have to grab a shovel and break dirt, bleh. Those capture things on Google. I can honestly never read them, and the website always thinks I'm a robot. A basic physical exam at the doctor. Looks like a simple look at the throat listen to the chest yup they have a heart alright. When in actuality doctors spend thousands of hours practicing it, so that when you come in with a murmur or funny looking kid syndrome they can recognize it immediately. And yes, there are entire class sections on how to respectfully ask your patient to turn their head and cough as you push on their balls they are looking for hernias. Natural macube. More work than regular macube. Easy as pie. Pie is the most difficult thing I've ever done made. Street names. Everyone thinks it's great fun and likes to offer suggestions but every tree, lake, and other natural feature has at least a dozen variations which you can't repeat for emergency service reasons. That and you get cities which want a street name change anytime the road changes direction regardless of a logical breakpoint like an intersection. Pretty much anything that a professional does, they make it look easy cause it's their job. Throw a football 65 yards accurately? PSSSH simple if you're an elite athlete. Cut open a chest cavity to fix a few coronary arteries? It's just another day at the office for a surgeon. Frame up a structural wall within a 2000 square feet house? Just a bunch of wood nails is all you need. Make crowded teeth perfectly aligned? Surely it's just a matter of wearing trays 1 through 55. Voila. It's all straight. In reality, each of these tasks takes someone who trained 4 years to visualize the problem, solve it, and execute it to the T it looks easy, cause they practiced the hell out of it. Making lemonade. Sure squeezing one lemon is easy peasy, but do you know how much juice that makes? Not a lot. Flying remote controlled helicopters. It looks so effortless when watching seasoned flyers, but in reality it's like balancing a marble on an upturned bowl. Hanging out with friends during that I'm not at school, but I'm still dependent on my family period, where you have spare time, but have no way of getting anywhere. Writing a 250 word open ended reflection, where you're expected to be creative. All I want as a grad student is some goddamn structure, and also a rubric. Actually doing things. In theory it's simple. Just do the thing. In reality I procrastinate, until I hate myself. Maintaining friendships from high school college after you graduate. People get so busy with work and starting their own families that friendships get put on the back burner. You stop talking to someone for a few months, then it suddenly hits you that you're no longer friends with the person. I use a wheelchair and people usually don't believe me when I say that getting around can be difficult because many of them think that pushing a wheelchair is easy. They literally tell me this. The thing is, when you use a wheelchair all day, and it is basically your only means of transportation, it looks more natural. This becomes a problem when I point out accessibility problems. They often don't believe me, because they see how I can navigate and assume that it's easy, just because I make it look easy. Finding the person I always saw myself falling in love with. Folding fitted sheets. 
I've watched instructional videos that make it look so easy, but I always just end up with a crumpled up mess, and that's how it gets put away. Finding a career you'll want to go to every day that won't crush your soul. Remember when you were young and teachers told you that you could be whatever you wanted to be. Yeah, not so realistic when you want to pay bills and maybe have a little beer money too. I didn't go to college and struggle with the thought of not being able to have a literal career move without a degree, but then I see my friends absolutely floundering with their student loan payments and think maybe I don't have it so bad after all. Beekeeping. You see videos of these old dudes in their veils and beekeeping suits and it makes it seem so relaxing and easy. Turns out that bees aren't so good at finding enough food on their own, and they can get sick really easy, and in the winter they can mold. Have you ever seen moldy bees? Sometimes they are not even dead. It's still worth it though. Edit. Thank you so much fellow beekeepers. I didn't have time to answer a lot of the questions, and in looking through the questions, I saw a wonderful beautiful community bringing awareness and knowledge. Also, obligatory thank you for the gold. I'm glad my plight with bees has garnered so much attention and I really appreciate the insightful knowledge that is being shared here. Socializing with people. I have severe social anxiety and even small interactions with strangers and even some people I've known for a while are really hard for me. I don't hate people or dislike being around them but I'm just awful at keeping conversations going or initiating them. Outgoing people make it look very easy, for me it is not. Losing weight. Changing habits is hard. Getting away with murder. Losing my virginity. Playing an instrument. Have played most percussion instruments, trumpet, some baritone, and was first chair tuba sousaphone for 4 years and difficulty varies, based on instrument and physical attributes. Being an a they never had to do homework could stay up late, eat what they wanted, and had the money. I wish I was a naive kid again. Fuck you duvet covers. Fuck you hard. Edit. Harla crap. I thought it was just me that had lifelong problems with them. RIP in box and massive thanks for the gold and silver. Being in your 20s. As a clueless kid I thought by now I'd have everything figured out and my life on track. I'm still clueless, but now I also have depression deleted. Golf. I feel like most people think they can just grip it and rip it, and don't take into account how hard it is to have a consistently good swing with solid contact. Committing suicide. Looks easy, but when the time comes, it can be very hard to commit to it, then you spiral further down the rabbit hole thinking you're so s you can't even kill yourself. True story. Edit. Christ on a bike. Didn't expect such a turnout. I'd like to thank those that gave and all of you sharing bits of yourselves. It's very sad to see so many in the same boat, a little worried it may capsize. Thank you Reddit, hang in there not like that, put the rope down you've been great. Selling panties online. I've seen a couple posts about how someone could exploit desperate dudes on Craigslist by buying women's panties, spritzing them with perfume, and then selling them online. Where it's so easy. Nowadays, buyers want to see photos of a real woman and the exact pair they'll be buying, or proof in the form of being panty trust certified. They'll want extras or special requests for their order plenty of fetishes to go around, and the vast majority of them will drop off the face of the earth. When it comes time to actually pay, you'll have to sift through hundreds of responses to your at, k most of them will be time wasters just trying to get a little dirty talk or some photos. My advice? Don't bother. Leave it to the camgerals who make some side cash off selling their panties, because there's always going to be someone willing to go a step further than you, and they will be the one to make the sale. Killing Enderman for Ender Pearls. Marriage. I think many people believe that they will be romantically in love with the person they are marrying. In many ways you do, but most with long successful marriages will tell you it takes work to make a marriage last a lifetime. That level of commitment is hard to maintain. The rewards are enormous, and you'll never be closer to another human, if you're doing it right. My wife and I just celebrated our 40th, and we've known each other for more than 45 years. Planning on being together till end. Apparently figuring out what the opposite of easy peasy lemon squeezy would be. Life after university graduation. 
people always say that they can't wait to graduate but little did they know it's just gonna be an uphill battle from there. Creating a routine is the easy part actually following through and maintaining that routine is the problem. Doing anything when you have depression. Looking presentable every day. Writing a post or comment on reddit that gets recognition. Math, I swear to god pieces of my soul became trapped in math work and perished when I burned them. Edit, oh my frickety frack you guys this is my first award and most upvoted thing ever. Thank you so so much. Rainbow Road on Mario Kart. I still don't think I've ever come first. Ugh. Atari video games they look basic, but for crying out fucking loud. <laughs>